This next chap is possessed by his comedy. For all night, all day, he works hard. He came to me as a clean-shaven, unfunny guy, and then he started sprouting a moustache. And as the moustache grew longer and thicker, his jokes grew funnier and funnier. We call him Oscar Wilde's great, 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 great grandson. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter. Wasn't it? Um, okay, I've got less than five minutes to please you, so let's just cut the full play and get straight down to it, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking hot in here, isn't it? It's so hot. I think we should just all get naked. <laughs> <Yeah>. Ladies first. <laughs> um, if you can tell, I'm not going to be shit, so we can all just relax now. <laughs> they say the first rule of comedy is just to be yourself. Um, and that way you appear natural, because there's nothing worse than forced comedy, because forced comedy is like a female orgasm. The more you look for it and force it, the more elusive it becomes. <laughs> women laughed at that, the men have gone... Oh. <laughs> I know it's there somewhere. I've, I've, I've seen a video. Perhaps two. So yes, as Bentley kindly points out, I have grown a moustache. No, I'm not auditioning for Downton Abbey. <laughs> but if I were, I'd clearly be one of the upstairs characters. <laughs> why in the fuck? And I'm not being a snob. I'm not being a snob. Because, like, wanting to be one of the downstairs characters is like dreaming of coming third in the Olympics. <laughs> but why on the earth would you want to be downstairs? That's the problem I have with that program. They look too fucking happy to be there. But like, they literally are happy to wipe the arse of the people upstairs. I can never get this. But I've noticed when you grow a moustache, people, particularly women, so they can come up to you and tell you things about your moustache. Even though you don't really know them, particularly say work colleagues. So I'm in work, just having a job. Um, <laughs> go me. Um, then, <laughs> no offense, I'm employed people. <laughs> Always check your exits. Um, so, so you see, that would be a straight for. Um, so women, comedy, moustache, there. Um, <laughs> just down there. Um, but yeah, they tell you things, so they go up to you and they say things like, Hey, um, not being funny, not being funny. <laughs> I think to look better without it. <laughs> now, when a man tells a woman how to dress and look, <laughs> that's considered sexist. <laughs> Should I be offended by that? And the second thing, if we go, okay, okay, let me just humour you. What if, okay, it's not like you're going to have sex with me before, was it? It's not like I was having loads of sex before I grew the moustache, and now I'm having... It wasn't like I was having so... I was actually having too much sex, and I thought, what I need... I've got shit to do. I need something to put these women off. Now, why don't people like Hitler? And as these two women at the front will testify, you'll see I'm actually bald in the middle bit. So it's actually like a Hitler moustache in silhouette. By the way, that little bit's called a fulcrum, which just sounds rude, doesn't it? Yes. You know, would you like to see my fulcrum? <laughs> well, you're already looking at it. <laughs> you there you go, you realise it's not no Movember. When did we allow facial hair to be a reduced gentleman to a joke thing for a month? This isn't a joke. I'm growing this because I can. This is all I can grow, alright? This is a plea for help. <laughs> So, you know, and women, some women will argue, well, you know, it's expected to be shaved down there. It's be shaved up here. Shaved down there. Shaved up here. Well, okay, I'll tell you something, ladies. Now, every man has their own preference. This is mine. I don't want a forest. I prefer a tidy garden. What I don't want, though, is going to pull down your teeny tiny little panties and go, whoa, have you got ID for that? Because it doesn't look over 18. <laughs> don't get that modern obsession. <laughs> so, I'm single. <laughs> but maybe that would change because a lot of women say they find guys who are funny uh, attractive. But it's a lie! <laughs> I say from bitter experience. If it were true, more women would be dating clowns. <laughs> you know what I mean? You suddenly see clowns used in advertising, you know, you'd see them uh, marketing hair products, makeup, cure for colds. They'd also be used for like Giorgio Armani underwear models, you know, like, hello. <laughs> My name is Coco. <laughs> you know what they say about men with big feet? 
<laughs> Would you like to smell my flower? <laughs> Let me smell your bush. <laughs> but obviously if I'm talking about sex, that means I'm not having any. In fact, I haven't had sex for so long, ladies and gentlemen, I think my virginity's gonna come back. <laughs> and I'm terrified, because it's Halloween just round the corner, you know. <laughs> Virginity. <laughs> and I'm never going to leave you. <laughs> but unfortunately I have to leave you, so thank you very much. For <laughs>